Hello, my name is Kyle Vernon. I am the designer of the Motorcycle Awareness Campaign website. Today I'm going to show you how to add events to this website. I just received an email with a list of events um, that I put in an article because it's in an article form. It basically is just a, a list of uh, typed out events. And we actually have a tool on the site that you would use to, uh, to actually uh, post your events and it is a more apt tool for doing this. I, admittedly they can just click on the region and they'll see the article sitting right there with a list of events but this thing actually maps out the events, it picks the venues, everything else. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First you'll log in. I have the login right here on the front page. If you have access, some of you don't, but if you have access this is where you would log in so you can get to the back end or actually to the section that you need to, to, to uh, edit the site. It will enable the icons. So let's log in. Okay, everything looks the same, but you're actually in a different instance. You actually have access. Now you can click on events. And you see these three icons up here. One of them is the print, one's the archive. If you want to see some old events for some reason, you click on that. And the other one is add new event. So we're going to add a fictitious event to say the Baton Rouge area or, or wherever I choose to, to add it to. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a new form. Now this new form is right here on the front of the site. You're going ahead and add the title. This is the new event okay and you'll select the venue now I have some venues put in already the chapters each of the chapters has have meeting places that I was, I was made aware of and I added those as venues but you might have another place uh, that you want to meet or have an event so what you would need to do is if you have the venue already if you know it's one of the venues that we have you can check by, select, by hitting select when you hit select, you'll have a list of venues that I've already added to it for some of the events that you already have. Uh, even the Huddle House and Cycle World of Homer were the two newest ones that I added to it. If it's not, if it doesn't exist, if it does exist here, you just click on it. If it doesn't exist here, you have to submit a new venue. Now you're going to get a separate form for that. So we'll click on Submit New Venue, just in case. And then you'll add the venue that you want to put in here. I'm going to put the old state capital. Okay, well maybe I don't know where the old state capital is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to go on ahead. I was at the Huddle House over there. I'm going to type in old state capital, Louisiana, or old state capital, Baton Rouge. All right, now I got the old state capital here with actual address information. So what I'm going to do is copy this address information from this first one. If it's not in there, you might have to do a little bit more searching, but you know, this kind of makes it easier. So I'll just copy and paste it in here. Uh, in Windows, it's a little bit different, of course. City is Baton Rouge. Zip code. You can put the entire zip code. Now it's going to use Google Maps to actually map this for you. State. I could just type that in. I could actually have typed it all in. And uh, let's see if it's got its own website doesn't really have its own website. It's going through one of those uh, MPS Gov sites. So we'll just select that whole URL there. So just paste it on in here. Then we're going to put the prefix here, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. So there's no mistake. We're going to add a, a map link here. It's going to be yes, it defaults to yes. Now you see they got this goofy little picture here. If you wanted a picture of the old state capital or something like that, just so they can get a, some kind of a graphical image of this, uh, you can click on this and you can find a nice picture of the old state capital and do a little screen cap on it. Um, let's, tr let's try that. I can do it in Windows by hitting a Command Shift 4. And when I do that, it takes a picture of it. Now I don't know whether I got the stairwell or or the actual uh, state capital. We'll find out here shortly. I think I got it in transition. Let me try it again just to make sure. I'll let it change and let it change back. And now I'm sure I got the old state capital. Now we're going to go here. We're going to see if that picture will fit in here. Hopefully it's not too big. Yeah, I got the stairwell the last time. There it is. Choose. Okay, and that's going to add that picture to that little goofy dancing picture there. And uh, description. You could type in a description of the venue. Is you know as uh, detailed as you'd like to. I just I'm just for demonstration purposes. This is the old state capital. Okay. And so oh, sorry.
Okay, so we have that and save it. Now you've saved that venue. This venue is going to be in your selection. Hopefully, uh, hopefully one day you'll have the old state capital, capital as a venue. Uh, you see here it says the venue's changed. You get a little little footprints here, and that's your that's your link to the map. It shows the state capital in the picture and the address of where it is. So you're going to go back to events. Okay, and you got your list of events. Now you're going to add your new event. Now it should pre-fill the one that I already started. Yes, this is the new event. That's the one that I started. The venue select is going to be the old state capital. Top of the list. All right, the category. Now I only have two categories in here. We can add as many categories as you feel necessary. Right now I just have general meetings and social events. If there are subcategories or other categories that you feel that we might need to put in here, that's fine. Just let me know and I'll do that. But I'm going to put social event right now. Now, you have date, end date, time, end time. The date, you can if you've got a week's event, you can block out a week. But right now we're just going to say it's going to be coming the 16th. And it's going to end the same day on the 16th. And whatever time you want to put in there is going to be military time. So I'm going to put um, 1,300 hours to 1,500 hours. And it's going to block out that, that period of time. Now, it's not a repeating event, but if you did have a repeating event, you can actually select a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. And that's that you do that for your meetings. Like you have a week, uh, weekly meeting or a monthly meeting, you could do that for your meetings if there's any other event. I think I already have you in there for the, for the monthly uh, meetings. Uh, the image for Mac, I already I saved that image there, so I can put that in there for Mac so you don't have that goofy picture. If you, don't, if you leave it blank, it won't show up at all. And we're going to put... Um, the big bike bash at the old state capitol. All right, now that's your event. Basically, you want to have as much description on your event as possible. You know, if there's speakers there, who they are, um, some kind of agenda if you want to put on there, a whole description of people who are going to be attending, uh, lunches, bring your own stuff. All the details you need for that event will go right there. All right, we're going to save this. And yes, there's a different looking button for the save than there is for the cancel. I don't know why that is. It's just missing the CSS, I guess. And we'll go to the events and we'll look at that listing. Now we'll look for it on the 16th. It all lists by date. So the, the one that's coming up the quickest is going to be the first one in line. Ours is on the 16th. And here it is right there. This is the new event, Old State Capital Baton Rouge. It's a social event. If you click on it, that's how it will list the show to the people who are actually looking at your events. Uh, it's right here. You got the pictures that I put in there. You can click on them. They'll get bigger. It's at the Old State Capital. If you click on the Old State Capital, the map will show up. It centers itself, but you grab this little thing right here and you move that up and you can find that downtown Baton Rouge and it's got the address right there so you're actually looking at where you gotta be where it is downtown you can close this and uh, that's how you do it that's how you add events now your user can come in and add comments they don't know how to get there uh, so you click on the map or if they have any particular questions about the event they can put that in there as well and that's actually how you add events to the website and it just makes it really easy now, this is, now people will have a common place to go now if you have an article that has to do with this event before it happens. You could always add a link to this event page, this specific event page, and uh, it'll go right there, and they'll be able to see where that event is and read your article and go to that event or any list of events or series of events that you might want to link into it. But that's for the people who actually put the articles together. And right now, we'll just deal with how to add events to the site. Thank you very much.